One of them died uh, at four months old. Who died when she was 10 from a brain tumor. I noticed I had double vision. You will be left paralyzed from that point down. They can bleed and cause a variety of symptoms uh, up to death. It's like a bomb. Toby Arnett is terrified. His wife and two children have New Mexico's disease. It actually looked kind of cute. You know, it looked like he was just smiling and just like a twitch. And then we realized it wasn't stopping. Colton was having a seizure, the first of thousands caused by CCM. Cerebral cavernous malformation is a genetic disease. Blood cells clump together, weakening their walls and causing them to leak blood. When that happens on the brain, it leads to headaches, seizures, and potentially death. It's a ticking time bomb. It can ooze any time. It can leak any time. The vast majority of the people who have the disease still live in the land of enchantment. We have found that the common denominator was Cristobal Baca, who was one of the original founders here in New Mexico. Since the 1600s, the Baca family line has spread all across the state, infiltrating dozens of New Mexico families. If you have CCM, you have a 50% chance to pass it on to your kids. So how many people have CCM? There are approximately 1 million people in the country. But only 30,000 are diagnosed, meaning hundreds of thousands of New Mexicans potentially have this deadly disease and don't even know it. And that's the scary part is when you're undiagnosed. But soon that will change. UNM Hospitals is teaming up with a group called the Baca Family Project. A quick swab test will tell if you have the CCM gene. You know, if you're 50 or 60 or whatever and you find out, well, you've already lived your life. But what about your grandkids? Getting more people involved in research and hopefully finding a cure. Arnett says in the meantime, he won't allow CCM to take his family's life away. An accident can happen at any time and somebody can lose a life. All we can do is pull together as a family and enjoy every day as if it was the last. As a brave little boy and his family battle to beat the odds. Reporting in Santa Fe, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.